This is for aligning prosthetics and transferring prosthetic alignment. All right, we'll go over some general features first. Um, it is bolted to the base, and the whole fixture, including its vertical alignment spine, moves with all three arms, all the way 360 degrees around the base, allowing you to work on it from any angle, but still keeping your alignment. All that motion can be locked out with the handles at the top, and handles down at the bottom, and then it does not spin along the vertical. It does, however, all move vertically along its vertical alignment spine. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to keep it loose so that you can see all the different features. All right, we have three separate arms. They all move vertically along the vertical alignment spine with these handles here. Arm one moves up and down, locks out with that one. Same with arm two. And they all lock out. Arm three as well. We just don't move it very up and down. Very often. All right, we'll go over arm number one first here. As you can see, it moves up and down along the alignment spine. It is labeled with numbers so that you can record exactly how high each individual arm was in preserved future alignments. It moves perpendicular to the vertical post with its horizontal alignment spine with this handle. Box in and out, and as well has a ruler on it so that you can record your perpendicular positions for each arm as well. This alignment spine can be removed. It will not slide perpendicular, but will allow flexion in the head, so that can be if that's removed. Arm one has a standard pipe collar. The pipe collar is adjusted with Allen's on either side. That fits all three standard sizes. Your half inch conduit, half inch water pipe, and your quarter. All those are adjusted with those Allen's. And those Allen's are the keys to lock out your rotation in head number one. All right, that's arm number one. Move it up and out of the way here. Arm number two is used for check sockets. This is used for your new check sockets and getting your alignment just perfect. It moves up and down along the same vertical spine. It has perpendicular motion with a handle on this side. Because it does not have an alignment spine, it moves in and out and allows you to have rotation in this plane. We have a second handle underneath which allows rotation in this plane as you can see this way, and this plane. So, if you unlock both of them, you have rotation in all three-dimensional planes. I'll demonstrate that here with a check socket. So you'd want to set your check socket in with your knee center perfectly straight, perfectly back, or to the left, or to the right. And that will give you superior control. I like mine straight on. Just get it locked in there with your three T handles, anywhere that feels secure so that it's not going anywhere. You have your handle on the side here, which will allow your flexion or your adduction abduction with your knee center completely at you. And the handle underneath will allow you to control flexion extension. If you leave both of them loose, you have movement in any three-dimensional plane. When you're not using arm two, it slides out of the base. That's the side to be used. Oh, that's arm two. Arm three is the bottom arm. It's much sturdier than your typical alignment. It won't flex at all. All welded steel fabrication. It slides vertically along the same post as all the other ones do. Even though that's not used quite as much. And slides perpendicular to the vertical along its own horizontal alignment spine. The spine is labeled with rulers, again, so you can record your perpendicular and parallel motions. The plate, or the deck, on arm three has a four-hole pattern. We'll accept any pyramid, any block, any plate. Easy access for the bolts underneath through here. And the deck, or the platform, is adjustable as well. It has a fine adjustment with a handle right here on the side, 
you just loosen your Allen on the deck and it will allow fine adjustment to roll left and roll right. And all that is locked out by just twisting on the Allen key there and the handle is now locked. We do have extra arms available, unique things. We can't custom fabricate anything. We have an extra large halo for your larger AK prosthetics. Thank you.